Hi everyone, welcome back to another boot sale finds video. So it's a Sunday afternoon and I just got all of this from the boot sale. Came to a total cost of £63 and I'll walk you through what I pay for each one and then we'll go through each one individually. So uh, these two hard drives plus this bunch of RAM chips for £10. Got these two RAM chips for £10. This computer here for £12 or £13, sorry, along with uh, four RAM slots inside there. And then I got this computer, like motherboard thing, which was used for cameras with the power supply. And then along with these two computers and this little motor here as well. So all of that there for £10. And then I got this computer here for 20 So totaled into £63. I'm very, very happy with that actually. So like I said in my previous videos, I've never really built a computer. And um, as you can see from my last two videos, I don't really know much about computers, so I'm learning. I'm looking to learn and hopefully I can get these working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear off the table and then talk you through what i got. Cool. All right, so nice and easy. We'll start with the two, the RAM slots first or the RAM chips first. So these are two Samsung 8 gig SSDs. I paid £5 for each of them and I'm very, very happy with that, especially with what happened to me last week. Yeah, If you haven't seen that, watch this video. It's terrible. But yeah, so... I was very happy to get two 8 gig RAM chips. Very, very happy with that RAM sticks. So hopefully I'll be, I don't know if they'll fit, but hopefully I'll be able to upgrade one of the computers I bought and get 16 gigs of RAM in them, which would be amazing. Yeah, so I'm very happy with these two. Five pound each, can't go wrong. So next up, I got all of these for 10 pound. I'm actually very happy with this guy. He's a, he's a very nice guy. And he I bought the Wacom tablets off of him last week and he gets a bunch of stuff. So. I'm hoping I'll be able to buy stuff from him regularly. It does be a good deal. So literally I've got two hard drives and these RAM chips for £10 each. And if you take a look at them, so this one here, Samsung 2 gig RAM. Very happy with that. Another uh, 2 gig RAM. I don't know why I'm thinking. And then I've got this 8 gig RAM Samsung again. Then here, 4 gig RAM. And finally this one 8 gig ram so all those ram chips all of these right so how many one two three four five five bits of ram plus two hard drives for 10 quid all in so this is a small hard drive 250 gig i'm happy with that and then this one here a terabyte hard drive as well so yeah i don't even know what i paid each for these like one pound fifty each or something but absolutely amazing. Very, very, very happy with that. All right, so I'm very excited about this one. So we've got three PCs, basically. These, he said that he got them uh, from, he buys them pallets from schools. And basically, the school, they open it up. There we go. So that opens like that. And then, so he said that the school, they basically took out the RAM and the hard drive. And then he buys them in pallets. And... He was selling them to me three pound each, which is immense, really. So he had, I, I, I may have missed out on, a, on an opportunity here because he had about 20 of these, right? And then he had about probably 10, 15 of these. And he was he was offering me all of them for really cheap. And it's a shame. I, it's a shame that I don't really know what I'm doing yet, but I really wanted to just buy all of them. But I said to myself, you know what? I don't want to fill up my house with computers. So I bought one of each of these and one of these. And then he gave me this power supply as well. So it was like three pound, three pound, three pound, and one pound for the power supply. So this power supply is actually for this computer. So I'll give you a closer look now. So we've got an Acer Veriton. Seems to be in good condition. A little scratch there. So VGA, Ethernet, Windows 7, it says USB, USB, Intel Atom inside, two USBs. This SSD slot, headphone, mic, and more USBs. So I had a lot of USBs. So it's a personal computer, Veriton N281G. Quite excited about this. Let's uh, open it up. Test the internals. Um, yeah, so it doesn't... Some of the stuff didn't look right to me. Like this... Being off, I'm sure these are supposed to go in here. 
So I'm not. I have no idea if I if I'll be able to make this work. I don't know if it's true that you know they just took out the RAM and the H uh, hard drive and then just sell it, so it's working fine. But who knows? But I would definitely like to learn how to do this. And I actually thought that the other one was a different model, but I think it isn't. I think it's just a different color. Well, actually, no, they they are different because they're a right, complete different shape. They're both Acer Veritons. Yeah, AR5B22, and this one's N281G. Yeah, so they're two different models. I don't know if there's no... They're both Windows 7. It's a big power button, SD. So these seems to be quite cool computers. I mean, I've got... If I can get these to work, I've got some good ideas, stuff that I can do with these. Oh, this one's actually got HDMI. Oh, you know what? So this is obviously going to be a newer one. I should have picked up maybe more of these. Let's go metal plate on it with the metal plate and then same again with these wrap top screws. What made me kind of what gave me confidence is the fact that they've you know he's, they've gone okay these are the screws and they've wrapped it up and then he's it's kept he's kept it in there that kind of shows that that person has some care so I'm hoping this is fully working. If these are fully working and I paid three pound that'd be amazing. The guy was he was telling me you know just get them get them sorted with some RAM and stuff and sell it. But I really, I don't want to get into the selling, the buying and selling business of tech stuff. That's a headache. Learn how to rebuild these. Well, not rebuild it, but just get them working. Alright, I currently can't even get the case on. Anyways, leave that there. Let's jump onto the next computer. Alright, so I don't know what this is, and I'm, oh, well, I assume it's some sort of, like, computer, right? Because it's got all these input output stuff, VGA... Ethernet. The guy was telling me that these are mostly used for cameras and he was saying that like these are like hard drive slots. It's got some RAM sticks in there. Let's take a look at what RAM's inside it. One gig DDR2. So probably two gig in there. Yeah, I mean I would, he was, he had loads of these again and he was only he was only wanting three pounds each for them. And I probably could have bought like, I probably could have bought them all for two pound each. So I don't know if I'll be able to get these to work. Can I even get this RAM thing in? Okay, there we go. Cool. Yeah. So I can't see what it is. Probably gonna have to take off the heatsink and have a look. Uh, I can't see any names or anything. Else. I don't know if I find out what it is, I shall let you know. What's that? I don't know. Um, I've just noticed there, look, I don't know what this is, if it's a capacitor or something, but that's actually broken off, so definitely I'm going to have to resolder that. And I've never done surface mount stuff before, so yeah, this, is, this possibly will be a no-go, like a fail, but even worst case, if I learn and learn off of all the other basic stuff first, maybe in future I can go back to this stuff. But that's that's why I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of these because I don't know what I'm looking at. And maybe in six months time, I'll look at this and I'll say, this is a dumb, dumb buy. But the guy was, he was very caring, you know, so I picked this up from him. And he was like, oh, you need to get, you need, you need this power supply. This is the power supply for it as well. And he gave me that for a pound. So. I think it was a a very good bargain. You know, I wasn't actually. I think no, he gave me that for free actually because he I bought the motor of him for a pound. But yes, yeah, so I'm not really sure what this is. Some sort of computer with its power supply, and I am very very happy with that. I'm not happy about the whatever that is, a capacitor or resistor falling off in the back, and that's just what I can see. There might be some more damages of what I can't see, and that's probably why. Maybe I should stick to computers that are inside cases because then at least they're not rubbing around. The, the um, components aren't rubbing around against other stuff. Well, here it's just bare PCB, so that, that's probably a bit of a problem. Might want to consider that in the future. All right, so let's move on to the motor. So I'm a bit bummed out, really, because this I, I'm a, I have a bit of regret. This this guy, he had about um, 10 of these motors, right? So he gave me this one for a pound. And then he had ones that were like this size. Right, for like four pound or whatever. And then he had ones that were literally I can't even show you, but 
double this size, big, huge, heavy, chunky motor. And um, I really would like to get into, you know, dealing with motors and stuff, you know, especially when you watch Rich Rebuilds or Lewis Rossman when they put a motor on their bike. It just looks amazing. So I have no idea what I want to do with this motor, but yeah. That sound sounds good. Look, can you hear that? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know what voltage this takes. No clue. Positive, negative, I don't know. So is it, are these leads not positive and negative? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with this, but paid a pound. And again, I'm just trying to, I, I really would like to fully understand all of this. It'd be cool to build a robot out of it. I've used motors on my Zura robot before, but you know, that was completely different. You're just following instructions. So yeah, I'm happy about this. This is probably one of my most exciting purchases today. All right, so I got this Packard Bell computer from a little kid. He was um, he was like 10 or 11, bless him, he was a really nice kid. And uh, I was asking why he's selling it and he's, he said that he's into gaming and this is just too, too slow for him now. And he managed to convince his mom to buy him a brand new PC. So he said he tried to upgrade this as much as he could. When I checked inside, it wasn't very great, but you know, I bought it for 13 quid. And I even, I overpaid mostly because I just felt sorry for the kid, but I would have expected to get this for like six, seven quid. However, what I do like is that it has some cool internals. I'll take off the side and show you. This fan that he's got installed in it, it's like a springy thing. I've never seen that before. It's got an 80 gig hard drive there. And then he didn't know what this one was, but. Do you know if I can have a look? No, I can't see. Let's put it on its side. Alright, so here's the inside. Here's the back. So no HDMI, so you know it's quite old. It's got those mouse and keyboard things. So it's yeah, it's an old it's an old PC. Alright, so what I found was interesting was he had a he had a bunch of he had the CPU cooler, he had a fan, he had the power supply. So this was all separate that what he was selling and so I asked him I said to him okay so how come you're selling this stuff and I noticed that he's obviously upgraded his computer and then he wants to sell his spares and then I, I saw he had these RAM slots in this bag separately so I believe they are one gig RAM and so I asked him how much RAM is inside and it was a 512 so I think he was trying to sell the RAM slots these ones for more expensive let me get these out so he wanted to sell this this separately. So this CPU along with this one gig RAM DDR2 and another one gig RAM separately. So I was like, no, no, chuck it in. Um, I don't. What's the point in me having the two five twelve ones on the one gig two uh, one gig ones? And then I was like, what's better, this this CPU or the one in there? And um, he didn't know. So <laughs> I said, okay, that's fine. I've got to take this CPU then. No way, because I don't know if you swapped out the better CPU or whatever. I don't know anything about CPUs. 2.93 gigahertz, Intel, 04, set on. Yeah, no idea. But anyway, yeah, I was happy with that. So I got basically a CPU in there, two RAM slots in there, and then obviously these as well, plus the two hard drives housed by. And I have no idea what motherboard it is. Anyway, it's going to be an old one, but... The guy, he said it was fully, fully working. I don't know what this is. What's this, a network card? Is that a network card? Well, wow, I haven't seen one of them for a long time. Yeah, I remember having to put that in when I was a kid. Yeah, so this it's an old computer, but yeah, paid 13. I'm quite happy with it. We'll see what I can do with it. I don't actually know still what this hard drive is, but it's fine. Doesn't matter. Let's move on to the next computer. Is this the Lenovo desktop? Think Center. I just like I like the Lenovo's. I like the casing of this. The guy he mentioned to me some crazy specs. I don't know, like six gig RAM, eight gig RAM, something like that. It's nice to know that it was tested September twenty seventeen. So it wasn't. It wasn't in. Hasn't been out of use for a long time. But yeah, I don't. We'll, we'll take a look inside of it, obviously properly. But I don't know if I believe him that. He meant, I can't remember, he mentioned like 
300 gig and a hard drive and 8 gig RAM or something like that. I doubt it, but I paid 20 quid for it anyways. We'll see. We'll take. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh yeah, just on the ports as well. I wasn't happy to see that there's no HDMI. Just that weird display one there and then the VGA. USB 3.0 though, which is nice. Yeah, so this is much more newer desktop, right? Alright, so here's a look at the inside. It looks a lot more cleaner than the other one, obviously. It's probably a lot newer. There's some sort of graphics card there, I assume. Right. Then there's one RAM chip in there. Don't know what this is, but I assume this is the SSD or hard drive, right? I don't even know. Hard drive, right? Yeah, hard drive. And I think that's it. Obviously, fans, coolers, power supplies. I don't know what this is. Um, oh, DVD drive. That's useless. Yeah. So let's let's pull it try and see what the RAM is. Fair play. The guy didn't totally lie. It was a four. It's four gig RAM. So I I can't remember. Maybe maybe he said four gig. I don't know. But I felt like it was higher. But yeah. So four gig RAM. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. So twenty pound I pay for all of this. Again, you know, the thing to remember is I have no idea if all of this works. You know, a lot of the, I, I bought, I buy all this stuff with the assumption that it doesn't work. All right, so just bear that in mind. But yeah, I'm enjoying this. You know, this is the, this computer here is the third desktop I've owned in my adult life. And the other two is the one that I just showed you previously and the one that I bought in the first video two weeks ago. So I've only ever owned three desktop PCs in my adult life. I'm 28 years old, so yeah, the last 10 years, never owned a PC before. So I'm just getting back into this. I remember putting these RAM things in back in the days. And yeah, since then I haven't done any of this. So yeah, man, let's get into it. So cool. Thanks for watching. And I shall see you guys in the next video next Sunday when I get through. I don't really know what I'm after anymore. Um... I kind of want to get into like computing, but I also want to get into other sorts of electronics as well. So, yeah, there, there's a lot to learn. It's it's one of those where it's like you know where do you where do you draw a line, and I really don't know. But I feel like maybe I should start buying some older analog, like maybe not analog, but older older gear that would be easier to repair, easier to solder, and just get. It'd be cool to you know like I don't know like for example if I could resolder that whatever it is resistor or whatever back onto it and that works. That'll be a great experience. So, yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I'm thinking about. That's the reason why I'm doing all this. So, yeah, if you enjoy it, leave a like. And if you have any advice or anything, please give it to me because, like I said, I'm doing this to learn. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.